This conversation is about human rights. It's about racial justice. It's about the right of everyone to fulfill their dreams. My name is Cristina Jimenez, and I am a social justice organizer. I serve as the executive director and I'm one of the co-founders of United We Dream. What inspired me to do the work that I do is, in one word, survival. I grew up as uh, an undocumented immigrant in New York City. My parents and, uh, and I, with my brother Jonathan, came in 1998 to the United States, and we came to this country like many immigrants seeking a better life. When you're undocumented, you grow up with a lot of stigma and shame. You face discrimination, and that brings a lot of fear. And United We Dream, what we do is transform that fear into finding your voice. United We Dream empowers young people to develop their leadership, their organizing skills, and to develop our own campaigns to be able to fight for justice and dignity for immigrants and all people. And we do that through campaigns at the state and the local level, and also uh, through federal campaigns of advocacy. Young people directly impacted are leading the organization to create new programs. So things like Undocu Health, we're talking about mindfulness and how to take care of ourselves and how to address depression and anxiety in our communities. Every day when um, I go to a high school or I meet with United We Dream members in a place like Texas or in a place like New Mexico or in Florida, I see the fear in young people's eyes and I also see their hope. We've been able to protect families from deportation. We've been able to change policy in over 15 states where now young people can access higher education regardless of your undocumented status. The Deferred Action for Child Arrivals Program, or DACA, was really uh, the most significant victory for immigrant communities in the last 30 years. President Trump decided to terminate the DACA program, which protects close to a million people, young people, from deportation. So all of our efforts right now are focused on ensuring that Congress passes a solution that will permanently protect young people from deportation and provide them with a pathway to citizenship. I believe that this country has yet to achieve its foundational dream and its foundational values. That's why for us it's important to work in solidarity with those who are citizens, with those who are immigrants, with Black, with LGBTQ people, with Muslim people, and a change in the conversation where our humanity and our existence is not criminalized. And that's part of the long-term work that we will continue to do and that we look forward to doing.